Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, you will learn how you can work with complex numbers on your calculator. You can also find similar videos on my Instagram and YouTube for differentiation, integration, uh, solving polynomial equations and inequalities, and also using the table function on your calculator to sketch graphs. You can use all of these different functions to verify your answers to a number of different types of questions in the exam. Now let's see how the complex numbers mode on your calculator works. What you do is you go to the menu button on your calculator, press the menu button on your calculator. At number two, you see this complex mode, select that. And now on top of the calculator, you can see on your screen, you have IOTA written. That means your calculator is in complex mode now. Now you can access IOTA using the ENG button on your calculator. See the button above number eight, ENG. That is what you use for writing IOTA. And now you can use this to divide complex numbers, uh, evaluate powers of uh, complex numbers like square and cube and also find the modulus and argument of a complex number directly on your calculator. So how does that work? If you want to divide a complex number, uh, divide two complex numbers, you could say, for example, two plus three iota divided by six minus five iota, your calculator gives you this result directly. Similarly, if you want to evaluate a power, five plus three iota whole cube for instance, you have to do this a lot. This is what you get at the end. Okay, this is this is the final result. You can verify it uh, using your calculator like this. Similarly, if you want to find uh, modulus and argument of a complex number, let's say you have a complex number like this, minus three, minus five iota. What you do is you press the option button on top left, press down, and you see this option r theta at number one. Select that and press the equal button and you get the modulus and the argument of that complex number. Modulus is square root of 34. And after the angle sign, you see the, the argument, which is minus 2.11. My calculator is in radian mode right now. So it's giving me an answer in radian. If it was in degrees, it would give an answer in degrees. In radians, uh, it would give, your answer, give you your answers within uh, the standard interval minus pi to plus pi. Okay, so you can use these functions to verify your calculations in a number of different cases. I hope that was helpful. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share with your friends and also check out my YouTube uh, channel for a lot of other similar helpful content. I'll see you in another video. I love this.